welcome back to my channel today we are playing the back nine um, we're playing the back nine at ditto farms uh, we're just playing mid ranges just the mid ranges from my bags colors and weights plastic types may vary but we're just throwing some mids I'm uh, not necessarily gonna score this round more just kind of a throw some shots in the woods and if you guys like it leave a comment down below if you want to see more content like this uh, I'm gonna throw two off of this tea method peach When you're playing like an actual round of disc golf, you're scoring, you're usually never going to go for dead straight shots like this. Too much. Too much. Peach forehand. And one around the side. Not like that. You know, I think there are some stigmas in disc golf that we need to move past. Some of it's pretty simple stuff, like, you know, that mold that you throw is it's stupid because I can't throw it. And then there's other things like, what do you do? when your brain doesn't work for disc golf. How do you make that work? I saw some stuff uh, this past summer on uh, some of the, the Jomez interviews that they were doing and some of the, the disc golfers were talking about mental health issues and it really spoke out to me in a very special way. Um, most people don't realize that I was raised extremely, extremely conservative, um, if that doesn't say anything about it. but. Just because of the way that you're raised doesn't mean that you don't also need to talk about emotions and be able to put your mental health issues out there. Uh, recently, over the past summer, I also had a brain injury which definitely does not help things. Um, so I'm just now starting to get back into producing content. So hopefully you guys are here for that. Um, but yeah, trying to deal with mental health issues and play disc golf competitive and try to recover from bleeding in your brain in a fractured skull, uh, not always the easiest um, thing to deal with. So close. Yeah. No. How hard do I have to try to ace this hole? <laughs> Probably seen a lot of content coming out. A video almost every day. That's because currently I'm on a mental health and medical leave from work. Hopefully, after these two weeks off, uh, my brain will start to have healed. Because it's been s multiple months and I'm still getting um, symptoms. So, 
playing disc golf, trying to relax, trying to rest, just having a good time. When you're just out having fun, your brain starts to mess up. And then you walk too fast and the ground starts to spin. Like I said, I hope after these two weeks that will not happen anymore. flex the mutant. I don't think I can throw it at 300, but I want to flex it. Um, did I just park that? Alright, if I can make the putt with the mutant, I'll call it park. Oh, it will, it's almost parked. Alright. Headwind, uphill, low ceiling, mid-range. What could go wrong, right? That could go wrong. <laughs> it's a long way up there. But I don't really care about my score because not trying to stress my brain, I'm trying to let it recover. If y'all are ever out in the Hagertowns, Maryland, Hagertown, Maryland, Ditto Park is very pretty. It's a super unique, quaint little course, and they use their trees. Um, they use the woods that they have in a very well, um, very technical manner. So if you ever get the chance to come out here, this is a great course, and. You know, if you're if you're struggling and your brain isn't all there sometimes, it doesn't work for everybody, but you could try just going out and throwing some discs around in a field or in the woods. Just something to relax and have some fun. Until next time, guys. See you out on the course.